Hey everybody, welcome back again to another Sourcing in Real Life. I just wanted to go over another uh, AI technology that I typically use to search people now that I've been talking about Indeed and and in and LinkedIn recently. Uh, let me share my screen. And so, yeah, this is Hire Easy. They do have a free trial, if I remember correctly. Um, and again, it's it's built a lot like Indeed and LinkedIn. You can go to sourcing here. You can put in uh, a lot of different variations on what you're looking for. You can take a a resume or a job description and literally plug it in here. Let me see if I actually have something like that that I can use. Yeah, let me see if I have a, I'm gonna try to do this with a resume and see what happens. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. Start with a resume. Can I download this? Drag or paste resume below. Sure. Dropped in, not supported. Great. Then I'll just copy and paste it. Great. That'll give me the gist. now and what it did I just plugged that into my AI and is conducting a search for me right and so it finds me people that are like the person I just put in there so if you've ever done pro profile matching or or similar profiles on LinkedIn same sort of thing and that's actually not bad that's not bad at all Okay, um, that's one way you can do that. You can start with Boolean and, and keywords. Let me throw in some certifications here that I typically see. And again, Utilizing the skills, utilizing the filters on the left is something you always want to do. Locations. Let's do 50, let's do 50 miles of Buffalo. Actually, let me do, um, is that it? They do zip codes. Okay. Yeah, they do do zip codes. Okay, so I got three candidates. That's not a lot. Um, put in some different parameters here. Okay, and it might be because my I'll take that up. It might be because my certification or keywords are too strong. Let me take out CISA and CISSB and see what happens. Again, not perfect. Got to mess around and find what you're looking for. I got 96 people. That's better. And as you can see, I mean, that's... If I'm looking for cybersecurity analysts, those seem like cybersecurity analysts. The other thing that you can do is you can search by diverse populations, which is great if we're trying to focus on DEI type of initiatives, which we are. So I can add these and I can target those specific ethnicities and populations all at once. So I had what, like 90 something? I'm gonna reach out to those people, but if I wanna start with DEI candidates, 
this is this is a great resource and it's again it's ai it's not perfect but it, it'll get you closer than trying to trying to do this manually through linkedin and stuff like that so um so say i i like these folks right that what i'm about to show you is gonna be really cool this is why i like hire easy i like that person uh like that person i like them all i like all these people I might talk to him. He might be too, uh, that might be too high level. Okay, say I, so I have these people, right? Actually, I wanted to select more. I want to select at least 10. And I'm not really, I'm not really like looking, looking at these. I'm just kind of scanning them. That's a military person right there. That that she's she's in her military gear as well. So I can tell that she's former military as well. So I've got 10 people selected. Um, how about a good fit? I want to make them good fit. These are people I'm going to reach out to. You got your little good good, good fit bucket here. And this is where some of the things that I talked to you about um, um, eightfold can come into play here. So I want to download this. I want to get the CSV, which is basically basically an Excel spreadsheet. And the cool thing about HireEZ is it will it uses email permutators to find emails and uh, emails and phone numbers not always the the most accurate but it's pretty accurate and they've gotten a lot better over the last couple of years and so it, it's opening up the the excel file on my other on my other monitor here hold on let me clean this up a little bit so you can see what i'm talking about Actually, I can show you this. So it comes out like this. And that's not the easiest to read. So I have all these shortcuts up here to help with navigating data, especially around Excel spreadsheets. So if you have wrap text and you can look up wrap text, you put in wrap text here and find that function. That's it right there. So it can dish this down. What Hire Easy has done a great job of is not only getting me all this information about each candidate, which we used to have to scrape, it scarbled that up for us and, and made sense of it. I have their emails, their extra emails, phone numbers, phone numbers, as well as the, the standard information like job title, company, that first name, last name, that sort of stuff. Okay. so. I can take this, I can plug it into my, my eightfold system and then build a campaign around it, which is great. You can also run a campaign yourself. If you don't have an ATS, just by copy and pasting this stuff and plugging this into an email. Okay. So that's one of the, the ways that we use this in sourcing is we'll pull a list like this. We'll find a targeted select number of candidates. We'll pull the contact information and then we'll build campaigns, whether it's whether it's phone campaigns, whether it's email campaigns, or now that we have access to to newer and cooler stuff, uh, texting campaigns. This is how AI is becoming more and more advanced because Hire Easy was one of the first platforms that did this. Now a lot of the other different platforms are doing this too, and they also have an engage option. However, we're not integrated with that. So I'm not going to do that today, but they also have ways to follow up. There's, there's, cause we, I've talked about drip campaigns and drip campaign tools as well. Like hire EZ has a drip campaign function as well. You just have to integrate your email and it looks like it can be a four stage, a four stage drip campaign. But um, we don't have that service. We don't have it integrated with with uh, 
uh, our emails because we have another system that does that. But if you're looking for a, a sourcing tool that does that, they also have that aspect that can be huge because how many times are we checking our email? We, we missed the first email or the second email. Um, the more you engage and re-engage candidates and job seekers, the more likely they're going to be, re they're going to respond to you. So, and sometimes it takes, it takes a couple times. It takes a couple calls and it takes some effort, uh, quite a, quite a bit of effort on our part to get people to, to see the initial message, but Hey, the, the, the focus of all this is to connect connect job seekers to the jobs that we're hiring for, help them out, and they're going to go tell their friends about what a great experience we had, right? So, so yeah, that's hire easy. A very very brief overview. Um, and again, always look at the filters. There's so many different things you can do with filters on the left, and they're usually on the left side. So with when I go back to the the search, my initial search for the candidates, just to show you this again. You can use keywords. You can plug a resume or a job description into a search and it will it, it will compute the information and then send you out a list of candidates. You can look specifically for skills by adding like vulnerability scanning. If I wanted to look for somebody with vulnerability scanning, um, experience and, and things like that you can add the experience levels there's all kinds of things you can do to tailor your search and so you can help focus uh and shortlist on people that uh fit into what you're looking for so definitely utilize the filters when you can if you get like two candidates then what that tell is telling me i've got too many limiting factors on my search so i need to open it back up again so yeah that's a little bit with Hire Easy. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.